We'll say this opening, what we have in our team, is not a project management role uh, in, in full depth, mm-hmm. right? It is for like, you know, uh, semi-project management, I, should, I, I can tell that way, because uh, it's only 30 to 40 percent of the work we do is, you know, related to internal projects. This is some some of the internal work we take from our partners. Uh, you know, we have somebody called program managers. Yes. We call them PMs. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. And these PMs are customer facing or customer facing you know, resources in the organization. So for any kind of operational challenges or operational support that customers need from them, these program managers from that entire region that company has existence. They will support any any solutions for them. Okay. Right. Yes. When I'm telling when I'm when I'm saying customers, so these are global five hundred customers, G five hundred customers or Fortune five hundred customers are talking about like Google, Microsoft, oh. uh, and, you know, you may talk to big companies. Right. So for such big companies, you know, we, each region like the Asia Pacific, Americas, East Europe, each region we will have a program manager assigned for these accounts. Okay. These customers. And there are for 100 plus such customers worldwide. We, we have, you know, the PMs are supporting these customers end to end for their operation, uh, you know, requirements. Mm-hmm. Now, these PMs will have a lot of uh, data maintenance work that yeah. they have to uh, maintain for this account in terms of maintaining the data of the sales information, which is latest and up to date, yeah. maintaining the customer number hierarchy of these yeah. customers mm-hmm. to generate some reports. Yeah. And this, this data management is very manually rich and pretty much time consuming for things. Mm-hmm. So our team mm-hmm. helps as a back-end support for all these PMs, or program okay. managers as we call them. Okay. So most of the work is, you know, data entry job. Like, you know, you just go copy paste the information of sales from one, one resource to to be another tool where PMs use it regularly. We okay. can keep this sales information up to date, okay. both in a, in a reactive manner whenever PMs ask, or, you know, we proactively go to get data. Okay. We just maintain the database of sales information and also the customer number uh, information for our PMs. Okay. Uh, so it's more like that. And, and so 60% of the work we do, it constitutes this manual or data maintenance. And it's only 40% of the work uh, you know, we take up as a custom project. So, so when I say custom projects or projects, it's not the same project what we, what we see in the real world. Yes. So like the back-end work, PMs are engaged on where they are losing out their productivity time. Yes. Right? Say, some, say suppose customer has a, you know, a customized uh, reporting requirement every month or every week that they would need. And PMs have to sit and do all that work, you know, the admin work or the, the back-end work and all those things. Which is kind of not adding value to his productivity time. Yes. So such back-end work or such administrative work, uh, which PMs are involved in, we help them to take that uh, take this work to our team and we support them. We okay. say, PM, we don't do that work. No. Shift to us, we will manage that work for you. And you can have more time spending with sales teams as well as the customers to be- build a better relationship. Yes. Mm. You got that what I mean? No. So, no. so, um, so that's the back-end work we convert and onboard it to our team and you know, support them as a project. Okay. Ensuring that work is done seamlessly without any errors or flaws. Okay. Uh, and yeah. there's a quality, uh, uh, no, there is a work both people and there's be as for the guidelines set for the joint work we take upon. So, so this being the nature of the work we do, which is semi-project oriented, mm-hmm. and it cannot be the same kind of projects or you have experience in your work, um, this is a little different or totally different, yeah. right? Okay. And, 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 and half of the work is all just, you know, uh, maintaining the data. Yeah, so maintaining the information from one sense. Yeah. It sounds like, you know, uh, exactly what I'm doing in my current project. You're also maintaining the data at various levels. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have created the data mapping, so there are data dictionaries for the different kind of data that we have in this manufacturing industry. So we are also involved to maintain the data as well. So here we have totally three different databases we are using in two different platforms. You know? So we use Oracle database, we use MySQL server, and as well we use DB2 database. So we maintain the data in different different databases, and we do have you know uh, different servers. You know uh, there are different tables, business tables are there, transaction tables are there. So whatever is happening in this manufacturing industry, you know, uh, there is a team uh, that is used to build a hard disk drive. 
So whatever the data is being captured there, all all that will be you know shared in the database, and we maintain it over a cloud. Whenever it is required, we provide them in a effective report format. So it's it's more into what I'm telling. It's similar to what I'm doing in a current project as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, and you have mentioned your software skills like SQL, yes, uh, Oracle, yes. So you still how how good are you at this? Yeah, I'm still in SQL SQL. So I have worked for DB2 Mentions, DB2. I have worked for Microsoft SQL Server Database. I also have experience in Oracle Database. So when it comes to Oracle, I've been writing you know, Oracle SQL code. I have knowledge in writing various functions, packages, and also I have knowledge in working well with complex queries based on the requirements. So when was the last time you have used SQL? It's the only one I'm using in my current project. Are you currently using it? Yeah, I'm using it. I'm using it. Yes, I'm using it. I'm using it. So in SQL, do you know how to create a database, run your engine, run your engine, yes, coach your engine, yes, all the square, all those uh, traits. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how good are you in Excel, Shrek? Uh, yeah, we we'll do Excel all the more here because you know, uh, being a business analyst is important to have Excel skills. Mm -hmm. So mostly I use Excel here to clear the data mapping. Here we have different different systems, source systems and target systems. So when there is a requirement to do the transformation between source system and target system, I only use Excel. So I have done the many projects in Excel doing data mapping. So next one, what all do you know? Uh, all that and things like data formulas, table tables. Yeah, we make different different models. Look at the different formulas and there are some things we have to use some basic macros. So what formulas do you know in particular? In particular, many formulas are there. You know, uh, basic formulas. What formulas have you used or do, that you know that you know? Okay, so okay. Some things that. Uh, I have aggregated and then we use a pivot table, pivot table is there, and then look at is there, look at is, we look at, uh, many things are there in Excel, so it's not depends upon the requirement, based on the requirement we specifically, you know, pick some formula and write it down in order to get the result. Okay, do you know why we use a VLOOKUP function? Yes. Yeah, why do we use it? Okay, so let's say for example I have column A and column B. So in column A, you know, I have so many values. They are measuring, you know, uh, number of DB codes as well. So if I wanted to, you know, uh, specifically uh, start, start, start uh, some particular value and, you know, set that, that particular value into some other place, you can use a real lookup. That means we can do, uh, we can do it for multiple columns at a time. And do you know what is the drawback of VLOOKUP? VLOOKUP drawback mm. or, a, or a limitation what VLOOKUP has? Uh, I'm not sure already. Okay, do you think we can look up a value which is on the uh, right side of the table or left side of the table? So, can you just come again? Can we look at look at the value which is on the left side of the table? Uh, no, we look at the right side of this. Sorry, look at. I I didn't get your question. So uh, during the video, yeah. right? Uh, and in the reference table, mm -hmm. say uh, the value is on the left side okay. of the table. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. So does the VLOOKUP help me to do uh, a reference lookup on uh, the dimension on the left side of a given uh, table I'm looking at? Mm, left side table... Uh, I have not tried it. Uh, I'm just sitting here. Okay, no worries. And, and have you interacted with international clients in yes. your current or previous roles? So yes. if, if you have to switch out which countries and which stakeholders were there? Uh, when I was there in CM Limited and Tata Consultancy Services, uh, the project was, you know, uh, UK-based project and US-based project. 
तो हाज एक्सपीरियंस इन डीलिंग विथ यूएस वेस एंड एज वेल एज यूके वेस इन क्लाइंट एंड इन माई करंट कंपनी इन माई करंट प्रोजेक्ट आई एम डीलिंग विथ दिस थाईलैंड पीपल थाईलैंड इंडोनेशिया यूएस मलेशिया एंड सिंगापुर क्लाइंट एंड एज वेल एज जापान सो इन जापान ऑल्सो वी हैव ए टीम सो समटाइम्स वी गेट रिक्वेस्ट यू नो न्यू रिक्वायरमेंट्स इन जापान टीम एज वेल सो जापान टीम इंडोनेशिया थाईलैंड सिंगापुर रिसेंटली Uh, there was a project uh, which has been dealing with one of my teammates. Okay, actually we are team of two members. So whenever we get new requirements, we use to you know uh, split them and share accordingly. So the tool, you know, it was a very complex project. Uh, the lady who is handling that particular project, you know, she was handling that particular project for the past three months. so we got lagging uh, exactly the requirement gathering so so she was not able to gather the complete requirements from business people and you know uh, make it clear to the developer so that is where it was lagging for the past few months so you know uh, recently just uh, three weeks before i have taken that project i started dealing that particular project i started looking for the respective clients from user to whoever are there who requested for that particular you know project i started you know uh, gathering requirements from them and i completed it in within four days time so that is uh, something you know, i can say proudly so after finishing that uh, i got a very good appreciation from my manager saying that i completed that very complex project in very short time okay Yeah, it was very simple actually. Uh, she she was sitting with one user. She did not get chance to check with the developer. What I have done is I parallelly uh, did check with users as well as with the developers, and you know uh, I have come up with some ideas and I proposed the new things to the users so that we agreed on the new things. So the same thing I explained to the developers. So we all finally you know on the same page. So now the project is going on development stage. Okay. Yeah. And so, like, if you if you get into a team which is totally demotivated, right, okay. and uh, that such a situation, how do you how do you motivate yourself and the team get going? Okay. Uh, so when it comes to a workplace, you know, uh, I have seen many teams like not many. I have seen three to four teams in my overall experience. So it it all depends upon you know the manager and also the Team is very high in our team, but when you say like demotivating, it all depends upon our own self confidence. So when you have the self confidence and when you know what you are exactly and what you are doing exactly, you can you know uh, achieve anything. So even if the people is demotivating you, you can you know uh, make them to you know uh, motivate us at certain point of time. Okay. Yeah. And uh, should I be bad? No, I'm not now I'm single. Okay. Yeah. And and uh, it's it's given an offer, right? So yeah. how soon can you join a uh, a team? I can join in ten days. I can start working from Jan second. So you don't have any notice period to serve in your current. Yeah, actually, here yeah, there is a notice period. You know, uh, it's one month notice period. Currently, I'm serving notice period, so I can join in ten days. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And what is your expectation of salary? uh salary when it comes to salary it uh, all depends upon the budget that you have for this particular role so you know what is your budget for this particular role so okay, the bigger expectation of certain you know, uh, you know, uh, yes uh, i would be expecting around 28 to 29% in currency this year 